Hey, good morning, my friends. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosso. I'll figure this out yet. You know, I've only done it once or twice. Thanks for joining me on the M Live Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. And yes, another possible line of severe thunderstorms on the way for today. Not this line. This is a potent line right now, but the cold front actually sits back in Wisconsin and it's anticipated that a secondary line of thunderstorms will develop in the afternoon and evening, and that would be the line of severe storms. Although these storms right here are potent across northern Michigan and across uh, the Mackinac Bridge and into the eastern part of the UP, and then now even trailing south toward Big Rapids, quick, quick thunder showers possible. Uh, and this could sweep across the state in the next hour or two. And then, like I said, the secondary line of thunderstorms possible there. Let's get into it and you can kind of get a feel for the second line of storms or where the cold front is back in Wisconsin where it kind of turns from clear to milky. That's the cold front and so what we're anticipating is heating from the sunshine today ahead of that second line of storms. Now here's what the Storm Prediction Center says and they they haven't really uh, moved this much from what we looked at together yesterday. Uh, so they still say the the slight risk uh, runs from Benton Harbor, St. Joe, to Grand Rapids, to Houghton Lake, to Rogers City, and all points eastward. They've actually tweaked that back a little bit just in, uh, in the recent time. Now, tornado chance, they still have a 2% chance over much of lower Michigan. The wind gusts of 58 miles an hour or greater, 15% chance for that. And the large hail, a 5% chance, although recently everything's been a hail producer uh, in these severe storms. So we may want to watch out for that. Now, here's that line currently of storms moving across the area, but let's get into the modeling. We're going to start with the high resolution rapid refresh model. And then I'm gonna show you a second model that's that shows about the same thing. So this is 10 and 11 and noon. And we're mostly dry, especially in the southern half. One o'clock, two, three, four, Hey, good morning, Ann Kubiak from Stock Park, and Diane Misak, good morning. Thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update. This is meteorologist Mark Torregrosa, uh, and the MLive Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. Uh, we are at 4 o'clock, 5, 6 o'clock. And this model shows the storm starting to form now at 6 o'clock. Uh, Grand Rapids to the Kalamazoo, Lansing area. 7 o'clock, starting to move into the south central part of the state. 8 o'clock, maybe forming a line from the thumb down through Ann Arbor and Oakland County and Jackson. And then 9 o'clock, 10 and 11. So again, this is a three, four in the afternoon, maybe more likely five or six in the afternoon to midnight thing. And in the southeast part of the state from Saginaw to Grand Rapids, southeastward, maybe peaking toward Lansing, uh, Oakland County, Flint, and maybe peaking just before entering Metro Detroit area. Here's another model. This one goes out a little further in time, but it shows the same thing. This is six o'clock. Tonight. Look familiar? Seven, eight, nine, ten. So six to ten o'clock tonight again. Now let's look a little farther out into the future. So we've covered severe weather potential this afternoon and this evening in the southeast. Let's see what goes on after that. Wednesday looks like a great day. And Thursday looks like a fantastic day. And then the south winds return and we start to warm up Friday. This is Friday afternoon and evening. A weak little area of showers tries to develop and then kind of washes away for Saturday, now looking drier. 
And hey, I like this name. Good morning. Banjo Pareja. Did I get it right? Hopefully. This is Sunday. Sunday looks like just flat out summer weather. And Monday looks like summer weather. And Tuesday, we don't see a solid cold front approaching until we get to about Thursday of next week. And then uh, a cold front and a storm system and cooler weather behind it. All right, high temperatures today. I look, the southern half of the state is going to have about six of eight of the next Six of the next eight days will be at least 80 or well into the 80s. So today, Grand Rapids to Saginaw southward in the 80s, near 90 in Detroit. Tomorrow, a little cooler, very comfortable, 70s, 60s, upper 60s, northern lower Michigan. And then, hey, good morning, Tucson, Arizona. And good morning, Nashville, Michigan. All right, so we're at Thursday. Thursday, a nice day. Mid to upper 70s. Friday, we're back to the low 80s. Yes, work skipper Friday. Why not? Saturday, 80s. Upper 70s in the north. Sunday, Looks like the warmth takes over and we get jump into, well into the 80s. Sunday is another beach day. And Monday in the 80s. And Tuesday in the 80s. And Wednesday in the 80s. You can finally see the cooler air off to the northwest. And Thursday, maybe a cold front coming through and starting to change our weather. And do remember that, uh, you know, this time of the year, we can have... We can have abnormally warm weather, but normal cool weather behind a cold front, and you can get a drastic, drastic shift, although it doesn't look like it's something that's going to take hold for a long time period, but it looks like maybe some cooler weather on the way for next week. So there you have it. Hey, thanks for joining me this Tuesday morning on the MLive Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. Say hi to a few folks before we go. Sarah Burwell, good morning, Flushing Township. And uh, Mimi Noonan from Hale. Good morning, Stephanie Ann. Good morning. Thanks for watching. Also, I'll keep you updated on the severe weather today. It would be straight line winds or large hail. The Storm Prediction Center, that's out in Norman, Oklahoma. They're the experts on, you know, widespread severe weather. They give us a 2% chance of an isolated tornado. The local uh, National Weather Service offices say, hmm, damaging winds, large hail the main threat, and I would agree with that. So we'll just keep an eye on it for you. If things get nasty and dark off to the west, make sure you take cover, move inside, away from the windows, and then check out MLive on Facebook. If it's real nasty, I'll be broadcasting live. So take care, and thanks for watching the MLive Morning Weather Update, brought to you by Consumers Energy. I'm meteorologist Mark Torregrosa. Have yourselves a great Tuesday.